Welcome back, Victorians. This is episode two of our Langfang Miners Not Miners achievement game. In this episode, we will be going Imperial. More iron, more steel. Yeah, the munitions plant is the key one here. Get the munitions plant, get ammo, get skirmishers. Go back to expanding. We now have a land border with Bhutan. We have a land border with Tridor and Banjar are no longer part of the Dutch East Indies. That revolution looks like it messed them up a bit. And they do have a few defensive packs. They're civilizing mission, which allows us to increase colonization development point of view i think the other thing we need to start doing is getting naval bases online we're gonna get five levels in slebes and five levels in east borneo developments let's shift our home over to skirmish infantry and shrapnel artillery will generate a need for ammo social democrats won the election narrowly ahead of the free trade party let's bring them into government they hate us okay restricted child labor hello let's come back to lang fang and sack the rice farm so i can get people into the lead mine they went there anyway i switch to opium is a risky one as soon as my navy is up and running i can then go get imperial and go maybe at like a macron here or burma 20 percent to our mines but not our gold so more explosives or more ammo let's have more explosives jambi wishes to join our customs union yeah are we able to accept this offer so we're in the chinese costume it's a bug <laughs> return state almost no uh infamy and here they go they start abandoning them oh pontiac abandoned them that's annoying i wanted pontiac to join the one's abandoning them boom our state let's have a play with tridor i'm gonna make them a vassal and they don't gonna back down and they're back down west micronesia colonization complete or first colonization of tonga complete let's get our first naval commander guy looks pretty good now with a 12 stack oh it's one more than our army shit we defaulted again Rubber found in East Borneo. Nice. Not used for rubber yet. Russia, Bali, Johor, Tibet, Pontia. Why Russia as well? Fuck's sake. Government wages. Subsidies. Yeah, that saves a few bucks. Yeah, the conscription centers could be on a lower offense. There's mutual funds, that's a pretty big one. And then we'll shift everything to publicly traded. Get more capitalists. Need a stronger navy to get independence from China. Britain damaging relations, that's not great. I'm going to take the motor industry throughput. There's restricted child labor, very good. Revolution is ticking down. I can get the proportional, not going to be easy, but let's try. Yeah, we're going to vassalize Argentina here. And I'm getting to this front as soon as possible. No, we'll just vassalize them. And ban slavery. 30 days will arrive. Chile's flag scares me because it looks an awful lot like uh, North Germany's. Are they backing down? Doesn't look like it. How many troops they have? <laughs> Skirmish. Interesting. Not currently supplied. Might have to raise some conscripts here. Losing that battle. I need a few more conscripts, I think. Oh, they're attacking. They're winning too. Wow. Capitulation. Their 1.3 million joins our market. Yeah, let's try and conquer Peruga. On Peruga, it can grow 47 opium. It also has 1.5 million people living in it. Jambi's abandoned them. Other allies abandoned them. It looks fish. Yeah, it's Oh shit. Needs to get him in quickly before he gets too big. Mass conscription has changed my maths there. Huge opposition to this. Oh, we're found the land. Oh, my conscripts are shit. 
chinger on our side anyway. Oh, fuck. Been too slow. British are getting the Arena Kingdom. Damn, that was close. Especially since I think a lot of my industry is in the part that rebelled. Yeah, the make sure that I didn't fuck up any production types. So my ports need 90 steamers, 40 ironclads for my navy. I currently make 140 clippers. I could shift to make 120 steamers instead, which I then think would allow me to also shift to making 50 ironclads. I think this works out. And we pass universal suffrage. Yeah, opium time. Military, garrison, let's shift the... So this would require 31 and a half opium, and I'm making 40. And if I spend some engines, don't have enough of, I could make way more. I have peasants, so... Making money again. Oh, the opium isn't funded. Well, I need it, so... Okay, let's get our credit down a little bit. Now back down. Okay, I'm making more engines now. 120, 160. Start using a few more of these. And then shift, say, opium. Using engines. Using 20. It's British Raj against Burmese. Well than that. British should war, war, GG out of this one soon. And then I'll come in. Go into Transvaal and or Golden here, right? Oh yeah, there's loads of gold in here. Burmese succession. Shit. Okay, that's fine. Oh shit, what's happened here? I'm on the side of... Oh, well, I've been dropped. I've been pulled into the, uh, the Raj's succession war as well. Basil Zulu conquered the inland. There's the uh, white piece between the British and Madagascar, so I can go in on Madagascar now myself. We have Peruga back. Mm, no, we don't. We lost Peruga. What? What? British Raj took Peruga off us. That was our opium. Tell Island's better. Let's get the coal. Oh yeah, Baruda. Then so packed with Sidons. Going into India after this. It looked like they're uh, backing them. Mobilize up. Argentinians are here as well. Good allies. Good subject. Look at these battles. Boom. It's the tech difference. Why couldn't the British pull this off? The Russians invaded us. We beat them on the beaches, like, but the British clearly made no effort to land on this island. Like, we're outnumbered, like, two, three to one. I'm destroying them. Ooh, what is that? The Tong Ming Hui. I need to look that up. It was a Chinese secret society, underground resistance movement, founded by Sun Yat-sen, an others in Tokyo. Chinese Revolutionary Alliance. It was founded in Tokyo in 1905 with the goal of overthrowing China's Qing Dynasty. It obviously failed. It's kind of appropriate that it formed our kingdom. I don't think there's any laws we need. Strong opposition to multiculturalism being driven by the Regionist leader. Racist fucker. Human rights to advance these ones. Oh, we got public health insurance. Just added another 1.2 million to our population. 3 million GDP. Got some more furniture, textiles, and tooling. Rid of all the bananas. Five barracks and five naval base. And it needs a port straight away. Ah, Sind abandoned them. It's okay, Sind, they'll come for you too. Oh, I don't want to strike. Shit. Oh, this law needs to pass. And then guaranteed liberties. And naval invasion. Ooh, electric generation is huge. What happened to my naval invasion? I lose. Skirmish infantry, under resourced. I had so many troops on the other side. Oh, yeah. They're surrendering. I'll take surrender. <laughs> Look at that incorporation cost. 1.9 million peasants. There's the opium. 
Ooh, I now have cotton. I can get rid of livestock. Holy shit. I'm not sure I can actually afford this place. How many people are working here? 11k in wages. Slower down to five. It's, yeah, it's not incorporated. It's not making any tax money. Well, there's 100 electricity and we currently make 50. 15. 25. 35. 45. And 50. Jambi. Ching are trying to annex Jambi. The peasant revolt in Pontiac is ready. Freedom and sauce allows me to get more loyalists and Gujarat's not actually a bad deal. Now, freedom at all. 10% academy university throughput. Yes, please. Look, Dutch East Indies now have a defensive pact with the French. Can I ever run this while they're in the middle? Spain might join their side. Spain has joined their side. Shit, there are Spanish troops here. Uh, Argentina kicking the shit out of the Spanish. Unlimited power! Have I won this war yet? The Russian sent Madagascar? Just added 50 troops to this. Mass mobilization and Indian provinces are going to be the game changer. Now, when you activate them, they're fucking expensive. At the end of it, Su Zhang, the new hero. He acquired more gold. We did. Okay, here's the first half of our objective, which will involve over to France. Okay, now making 300. So I can go to law logging. Okay. There's a use for rubber now. Send as well. And <laughs> send back down. Oh yes, 19 opium. Rivalry back, mate. Glass textiles, shipyards, coal and sulfur, lead. Need lead. You make silk as well? You do. Have any friends? Nope. I think we'll have Kaishu. <laughs> nah, they're fearful. Rightly so. Gujarat needs another railway. I'll give it two. Japan backs down. Boom! I'll have your five million people. You need a port. You have a port. It needs to get better. Don't think I need textiles over here. Don't think I can want to afford this. I will keep tools. Keep glass. Uh, not interested in fishing. Silk's what I want. I want domestic silk supply. Ooh, I can get oil in Gujarat as well. Oh, finally I can get gold from Australia. Intelligentsia support it. Head of trade unions opposes it. Ooh, no support for women's rights. Lose 50 authority, seems okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to take Zulu. Transvaal to orange. So I think all diplomats in damaging. Desperate life, 8 million radicals. The population of 26 million. Line go up. That's what conquering two states in India and another state in uh, Japan does for you. Now I think I vassalized Zulu land and then push in land. See if their allies are joining them. They are. So, which one do I want? I think I want Transvaal. Seven gold mines. Five fields. Fifteen in Orange. I think that's more, isn't it? Conquer state. There's Strat. Any more puts me over 100. Land Slavy in Zululand. Four reps, Transvaal. Going to war. Sweet. Protected speech. Hand cranked. Okay, waiting for Sun Lee to get up to around their 20 battalions. When the front's opened, Shu Zhang will pour through. F4, see battalions up here. Got a second general, I think. Come on, open the front. Suddenly, get your ass back here. Only four days to get back. Like, my, where, why did my generals leave? Nobody gave them permission to leave. Get back here before we lose the front.
Do I have to babysit them to stay on this front? Holy shit, 150,000. And the four. Deploy the Gujarat Legion. Second front is opened. Deploy other Gujarat Legion. Third front is opened. Why do I have very little land? Why did my generals leave? Why? This war should already been over. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I got blasted out of there. Round three. I'm gonna build more iron, even though it's not currently profitable, because it should be profitable. Don't want a sudden crash if I manage to kick out the Chinese. What's happening this time? Who's landing first? All happening fairly simultaneously, and it should overwhelm them. What happened there? Did I lose against Zulu? No, they're my vassal. So why can't I pass through? I think I've got to take white peace. Highlight sovereignty? Don't have an interest in Iberia. I'll be back for you too. Okay, pretty unhealthy economy here now. Um, need to make some adjustments. It's government wages, it's military expenses. Cancel a lot of these barracks. We don't need those, but we can generate some new interests. Let's get one across all of China. And then we'll take the Rhine and the US from a trading point of view. On the cusp of declaring independence, we will leave you there. The X episode will be available very soon. Subscribe to stay up to date on Victoria 3. Thank you for watching.